Working with user accounts. Whenever you access your computer, you are using a Windows user account. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add, edit, and delete a user. First, we'll add a user. Go to the Start menu, Control Panel, and then User Accounts and Family Safety. And then finally, click User Accounts. Now click Manage Another Account. Here, click Create a New Account. I'll name the new account Zoax.net Admin, and I'll set the permissions to Administrator. Permissions are important to understand. A standard user can use programs but cannot install them, and cannot edit security settings. Also, while they can add or change their user password, they cannot edit their account name or permissions type. An administrator account type has full access to the computer. They can change any setting, including their user information. For this tutorial, I'm going to give our new user administrator privileges. Click Create Account when done. Now I'm going to log out of my own account and log back into Windows using the new user I just made. First close this window, then go to the Start menu, and then go to the right with the little arrow, and then select Log Off. Then I'll log back on with the Zoex.net admin user, and open up User Accounts. Now I'll show you how to edit the user account you're logged in with. First let's create a password. Click Create a Password for your account. Having a password is a good security measure. In general, a password you choose online or for your machine should be some combination of letters, numbers, and ASCII symbols, like the dollar sign or asterisk. You must type your new password twice, and you can also add a password hint to help you remember. Click Create Password when you're done. You can also change your password at any time by clicking Change Your Password on this screen. Here you have to enter your current password and then type your new password twice, and you can change your password hint if you need to. Click Change Password when done. You can also change your username by clicking Change Your Account Name. You can choose almost any name for your user. Here I'm going to change it to Zoax.net User. Click Change Name when done. The last thing we're going to do with this user is change the permissions type. To do this, click Change Your Account Type. If this were your only account, you would have administrator privileges by default, and you could not change them. But since we have another administrator on this computer, I can restrict this user to the standard privileges. Click Change Account Type when done. Now I will log out of this account and log back in with my main administrator user and open up user accounts again. Edit a user account that you're not currently logged in with, just left click on the username here. Here you can change this user's account name and type and add or change their password. You can also delete a user from this screen by selecting delete the account. Choose here to either keep this user's files such as documents, pictures, and music folders or to delete them. And finally confirm that you want to delete this user. Now you know how to add, edit, and delete user accounts. This concludes the lesson.